Hey everybody, it's Gabriella, and I'm doing Rebecca's Bible Art Journaling Challenge. Today, we are going to be doing Isaiah chapter 40, verse 10, which says, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. And I really want you guys to think about that verse, because it's a good verse. And now you can see... I used my Liquitex match gel medium to cover the entire page so that my watercolor would not bleed through. And then I let it dry. And then I'm just using a sticky note to cover up my verse because I want it to remain white. And I'm also using a white Crayola crayon, which you can find at any store, to just write the words, do not fear, and draw a little vine around them. Because what I want to do today is I want to put watercolor over white crayon to show you that crayon resists the watercolor. And I hope it's going to turn out really nice and look really cool. And I'm just going back over it all to make sure it's nice and thickly crammed. Now I'm going to be using my watercolor pack from Crayola. It's just a regular old pack you find at Walmart. And I'm using my blue to go over the first section. And you can see that nice white crayon showing through there. And I'm just using a paper towel to dab it all down so it's a lighter color and nice and dry. And now I'm using my green in the next section. And I had to go over this part a couple times because I kept getting it too light, but it turned out pretty good. Now I did something that I really wish I hadn't. I used yellow, orange, red, and purple on this other side. And I wish I hadn't done that because, first of all, it doesn't look as nice as I had hoped it would. And I also have another page that looks very similar to this now. It just doesn't have the white crayon. And so I wish I hadn't done that, but it overall turned out nicely, so that's good at least. And as you can see, I just painted the colors on there and went back over it with a paper towel to lighten it up and dry it. Now I'm using a paintbrush with only water on it and putting it where my white crayon was and dabbing it with a clean paper towel because it helps get the watercolor off of the letters so you can really see the white crayon. I don't know if you can see that in the video, but in person it really made a big difference. Now with these little flowers you see here, I just had some leftover paper where I had tested out my spiced marmalade and picked raspberry distress inks. So I went ahead and took a flower cut and just cut out some flowers from that paper because I don't want to waste anything, obviously. And so I'm just gluing these little flowers onto my white vine here just as a little extra decoration to add a little more stuff to my Bible page. Now you can see I took off my sticky note but unfortunately the yellow watercolor had kind of gone underneath it, so I used a black micron pen to just go around the verse so that it really stands out more. And as you can see, my watercolor kind of bled through on the back and on the side it got on the other page, but I still like the overall result, and I hope you do too, and I hope you join Rebecca's Art Journaling Challenge. See you later!